on the game. Today I'm going to talk about some of the board games that I've been playing over the past six months. Start off with Escape the Dark Castle. This one really reminded me of that early Hero Quest kind of, you know, barbarians and goblins and monsters, that kind of aesthetic. It was a great one to get me started on because at the end of the day, it really is just about kind of rolling your dice. It's very straightforward to set up. It's just a card based game. There's no board, but very atmospheric. And in a nice hipstery move, you can get the soundtrack on vinyl. So what we do when we're playing it here is we'll pop the soundtrack on we don't actually have the final. Pop the soundtrack on YouTube in the background. It just helps you kind of lose yourself in the world. Nice. Right, so that was the the first one that uh, got the the dice rolling instead of the ball rolling for me. It was Escape the Dark Castle. Next up on the list is the the Bloody Inn. The premise of the Bloody Inn: you're an innkeeper, and your job is to kill as many people as you can who stay in your inn. You can strike deals with people, you can bribe guests, you have to hide from the long arm of the law. Like most of these games, it does take a while to, to learn the rules and a lot of people can be put off to that because I know in today's world people are just programmed to look at IGTV and Facebook video streams and stories for maybe three seconds, so. It does take a little bit of brain training for people who aren't used to using their brains in times of relaxation. And um, I can say thankfully that this one, it was a game that at the start, I was um, intimidated big time by how to play. Annex, why would I make, why would I pay someone off to hide a body under the table? I just wouldn't kill them in the first place if I knew it was gonna be police day and it didn't make any sense to me. But after a few goes, I loved it. <laughs> Next up, Museum Rush. You build a little museum out of the cards that are inside. So you build up the, you build up your, you build up your bollocks. Tiles. Tiles, tiles, thanks. You build up your platform. You get a, a deck of cards that are the tiles and you build the tiles into the various shapes for a lot of different museums. And the aim of the game is simple. You actually get little caricatures, little figurines in this, which I like too. As someone who used to collect toys and still does, you have to steal priceless works of art from the museum and the security guards and the security system has to chase you. So this one, you know, this is, I, I class this as a family game, fun for all the family and one that I got my head around pretty quickly. Now the big complex monster, that's the one we're going to have the deep dive look at. Oh, such a big complex monster, I need two hands. Oh! Mage Knight. And this is a board game. As with all these games, it's based in a land far, far away, different planet, different galaxy, different time. Whatever you want it to be, use your imagination. That's the whole point of these things. Let your imagination run wild. The kingdom is called Ethenimir. It's a mouthful, Ethenimir. And this kingdom has its goodies and its baddies, like in most things. The entire hopes of planet Athenia is on the shoulders of this guy, Sir Bluus Bladus. Bluest Bladus was fighting the Dragouls. The Dragouls. And the Dragouls mine Dragon Crystal. Dragon Crystal. Dragon Crystal. And this gives the Dragouls the power to breed stronger dragons and make really tough metal that cannot be pierced by any blade. Okay? So the Dragouls have teamed up with their leader, the main man, Magic Mike. Magic Mike. Magic Mike is the leader of the Dragouls and he is known in some circles as the Mage Knight. He's the man. He's the man to beat. Well, it really is a hard game because there's not, not one but two but three main character villains. This here is my particular favourite. She is a nasty piece of work. I would not like to meet her at night time. Helen Razor. So in the game, Blues Bladus has his health pack here from zero through to seven, okay? And he gets four cards to start off with, and he gets five of these tokens. These tokens denote his heritage, his lineage, and his soldiers. Dragul, he gets the full stash of dragon, we're gonna call it dragon uranium, that will unlock the secrets to the universe and make a really strong metal that no one can break through, cut through, slice, whoever you want. And because of this power, they have the red city, the green city, 
and the white city. It, the blue city, of course, that's where uh, blue is blobbles. Blue is blobbles is from the blue city. And in, during the gameplay, each character gets these tokens. They're dealt out on a go-by-go -go basis. There's a lot of battle involved. So we have our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven dice. Battle acts using these boards here. So the first person rolls to get a four or five. As we see there quickly, four, no, that one, the four or five, and the second one, then the enemy rolls the other side, the dark side, of course, they roll, if he got a four and a five there, he needs to get uh, three, five, four, yeah, he gets eight in this one, oh, eight in that one, so Drago wins again, so that's more uranium for him, and that's probably the end of the game for the Blobus Blubus Knight. So he goes there, all of the baddies end up taking over the kingdom, and the blue city topples, the Mage Knight cards go back into the pack, you shuffle them, uh, pull out a random card and the random card yeah of course it's the tear of death teardrop of death so if you get the teardrop of death at any stage that's it you're done for you're over so that's it folks don't be afraid of board games they're very simple to get your head around dedicate the time because a board game opens up your mind it frees your imagination board games are ways of connecting with friends they're a good form of communication and they're a great way of testing your mental arithmetic thanks folks On the game.